think we're a village that tends to do things. And what's really fantastic is to look around the pub on days like today and see just how full it is. The pub does offer additional services to the local community. It enables the community to come together. It provides a opportunity for people to meet of all ages. And it's seen very much as being at the heart of the village. And if it didn't exist, the heart of the village would have disappeared. I think it's, it's difficult to imagine just how great the project's been because from a, the very early beginnings where I thought it would be a good idea, um, we put out lots of publicity to tell people that we were going to have a meeting in the village hall. I thought there might be 40 people. The person I was working with at the time thought there might be 10 and we had 120. So at that point I knew that there was a lot of enthusiasm for doing this project. The big question was, were we going to get enough supporters to volunteer to help do the pub up? And we did. So basically lots of people came forward on a very regular basis to do a huge amount of work to make this what it is today. Our community club is definitely more than just a pub. So we have, as well as um, a book swap, which means that people can just come along and take a book read it either in the pub, take it home, bring it back, stop it for another one. We also have a, a lunch club for those people that are perhaps elderly or infirm or vulnerable or just lonely. There are quite a number of people that live on their own in the, within the parish, not necessarily the village, because the parish covers quite a large area and there are people living in isolated houses um, and probably on their own. Um, and unable to um, sort of take part in normal activities. And this lunch pub uh, enables them to come here and if they haven't got transport, then we've got volunteers that will go and collect them uh, and uh, bring them here, have the lunch and then take them back again. It gives them a chance to talk to other people. Plunkett were absolutely amazing. What I did first when I thought this would be a good idea to buy the pub was that I phoned camera and camera immediately said to me, you have to phone the Plunkett Foundation. I did, and from the very first moment um, that I spoke to Plunkett, the amount of support I got was truly incredible. Very, very helpful, both in terms of practical advice and also pointing us to other pubs who've done the same thing so that we could talk to them about their experiences. Um, I cannot over estimate how much help they've been. Without Plunkett, this probably would not have happened. This is a national award. Um, there were 12 entrants and it's called the Pub Saving Award. So it basically goes to the community that's done most to save its pub. Um, when we did, when we put the entry form in, we didn't realise that we were going to win, obviously. We thought we'd done quite well, but as it turns out, we'd probably um, done more than anywhere else um, to, to achieve the award. So. We're very proud of it. I think everyone in the parish knows about it and uh, it's just one other thing that tells us what we've done is a really great achievement.